Welcome back. This is part four of If Structures with Mr. Seward. So in this case, we have a little different scenario. Um, we have one motor, and it's going to be controlled by two different switches, switch A and switch B. Let's see here. There's that one, switch A, and then this one over here is switch B. So we're going to build the code for this now. Let's go to our just our screen and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to control structures and then I'm going to drag down a while and I'm going to put that between my uh, main curly brackets so let's go up here and we'll get our while and we'll come down and we'll put it down here between our curly brackets and hit fix formatting and uh, now we're going to change the while condition here. And this is going to be the word true. Okay. And in where we have the body here, we're going to drag in the if condition slash body. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'll backspace a few spots here, get rid of that. I like to keep fixing my formatting. Now, the if condition is going to change here, and this is going to be uh, sensor value, S-E-N-S-O-R, sensor value, uh, open bracket, switch, A, close bracket and that's going to be equals equals one and then the body of this I'm going to go up and I'm going to drag in the start motor so start motor goes here and because in this case and here's our task description I didn't read that to you but if switch A is pressed the right motor will run forwards at uh, full power. If switch B is pressed, the right motor will run half power backwards. And if no switch is pressed, the right motor will stop. Here, put P on the end of that. There we go. Okay. Uh, so start motor, motor port is going to be our right motor. And because this is going to be for switch A, it's going to be full power forward. So 127. Oops. There we go. Okay. And uh, that is the end of that. So now I can uh, backspace this up a couple spots here fix my formatting just to get that right and now it's set all right now the next thing that we're going to have to do is right down here we're going to drag in a if else statement so if else is right here it's this lowest one so I'm going to come and drag this in and I'll fix my formatting again and in this case, my uh, if statement is going to change to uh, almost the same as this one is. So I'm just going to copy this. Here we go. Control V. But instead of being switch A, it's going to be switch B equals equals 1. And... Um, the body here is going to be start motor. So I'll copy this since I've got it here already. Get rid of the word body. But this is going to be, instead of 127, it's going to be minus 63. And then our else, the body for the else is going to be stop motor and that'll be right motor copy 
Okay, so let's uh, fix our formatting here. Let's compile and see if we've got any, any errors. And I don't have any errors. So I can uh, download this to the robot. Ah, I don't have a battery plugged in, so I'll have to do that. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've got my battery all plugged in now. So I'm going to compile and download to my robot. Then I'm going to start. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push uh, switch B. And what I want to do is, is I want to watch down here on my motors to see what those numbers look like. It's a solid minus 63. So the motor's running without doing any stuttering or stopping. Now I'm going to go to switch A and I'm going to do the same thing. But you notice that the motor isn't, this time when it's running, it's jumping around. It's 127.0, 127.0, 127 So that's telling us that we have a problem here. Although the motor sounds like it's not stuttering, it is and uh, we're going to need to actually change that. So let's take a look at how we can go about changing that. And I will uh, pause this and put my battery back on charge and then I will come back in a second. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more thing uh, with regards to this current program and that is what happens if both switches get pressed at the same time? And let's give this a try and see what happens. Well, you can see that the motor is jumping between 127 and minus 63. It's fighting itself. So I'm going to back off of this and turn that off, or stop that anyways. And I'm going to uh, actually go to my debugger and stop it. And I'll exit that. So if you remember earlier, or maybe I didn't mention it, but you have two ifs in a row here. And what you really need to do here is you need to bank the ifs with, or yeah, the ifs with an else. So I have one if else here, but I don't have uh, two. So I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to take this else, and I'm going to copy it. And uh, I'm going to go right here to above the first if and I'm or second if sorry and I'm going to paste in the else so it's else stop motor and then so it's if and else so if uh, the motor is depressed then it's going to start the motor if it's not depressed it's going to stop it and then it's going to come down here and do the same thing if switch B is depressed it's going to start the motor at a negative 63 and else. So I'm going to fix my formatting here and compile and download the robot and let's see what happens with this one. I'm not sure. Start. Okay, I'm going to start with switch B and that works. But it's jumping around. See it's minus 63 and 0. Same thing with the minus with the uh, with switch B or switch A, switch A is my, uh, jumping between 127 and zero, and now this one is also jumping between uh, minus 63 and zero. And if I push them both, they're still fighting each other. So we have to make another change to this, and I'll show you what that is. Let me stop this, and I'll close the debugger. And I'm going to go put my battery on charge again. All right, so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to this else, and I'm actually going to delete that. And this if right here, I'm going to change this to an else if. So... What I have here is a hierarchy. 
So the first and most important part of this hierarchy is the if statement right here. This will always run. This is the most important. So switch A is going to be the most important. The else if is our second most important. And uh, then the third most is the else down here. So what this means is, is that the if will always overwrite anything else that is being uh, run at the same time. So let's look at what that means. Switch A being the most important, it's going to run my motor. So I'm going to compile and download to the robot. And I'll hit start. And this is switch A right here. So this should run my motor. And it does. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to hold uh, switch B. And that runs my motor. You'll notice that my motor power is not jumping all around. There's solid now. There's no there's no stuttering. Alright. Now, if I hold switch A which is the most important. You see the motor spinning counterclockwise there. And then press B, nothing happens. And that's because this is the most important. But if I'm holding switch B and then press A, it rotates in a, the opposite direction. So it's spinning clockwise now. When I press and hold on A, it uh, turns counterclockwise. So whatever is in the if command will have the most importance. The else if is the second most important, and then the else is the thing that takes over when nothing else is uh, doing any controlling at all. So while structures are used the majority of the time, but if structures are used when you need two things to be true at the same time. Anytime you need to make decisions between two things at the same time, you can use ifs. You can use all ifs, you can use ifs with else's, or you can use if else and if and else.